19 different galaxies, one highly advanced telescope. This might just be another addition to humanity's leap towards discovering the universe and the life beyond it. Spirals appear in intricate seashells, carefully constructed spider webs, and even in the curls of ocean waves. On cosmic scales, they are even more arresting, not only for their beauty, but also for the overwhelming amount of information they contain. How do stars and star clusters form? Until recently, a complete answer used to lie out of reach, blocked by gas and dust. Within the first year of operations, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope will help researchers complete a more detailed sketch of the stellar life cycle with high-resolution infrared light images of the 19 galaxies. The image you see here is that of a spiral galaxy, NGC 3351. With the combined observations from several observatories, we are now able to see the details about its stars and gas. Radio observations from the Atacama Large Millimeter or Submillimeter Array, or ALMA, show dense molecular gas in magenta. The Very Large Telescope's Multi-Unit Spectroscopic Explorer or Muse, highlights where young massive stars illuminate their surroundings, set off in red. The Hubble Space Telescope's images highlight dust lanes in white and newly formed stars in blue. High-resolution infrared images from the Webb Space Telescope will help researchers identify which stars are forming behind dust and eventually study the earliest stages of star formation in this galaxy. The next one we have is that of Spiral Galaxy NGC 1300. Combines multiple observations to map stellar populations and gas. Radio light observed by the Atacama Large Millimeter or Submillimeter Array, or ALMA, represented in yellow, highlight the clouds of cold molecular gas that provide the raw material from which stars form. Data from the Very Large Telescope's Multi-Unit Spectroscopic Explorer, or MUSE, instrument is represented in red and magenta, capturing the impact of young, massive stars in their surrounding gas. Visible and ultraviolet light captured by the Hubble Space Telescope highlights dust lanes in gold and very young, hot stars in blue. High-resolution infrared images from the Webb Space Telescope will help researchers identify where stars are forming behind dust and study the earliest stages of star formation in the galaxy. The telescope will also provide a few key puzzle pieces that were missing until now. JWST touches on so many different phases of the stellar life cycle, all in tremendous resolution, and it will reveal a star formation at its very earliest stages, right when gas collapses to form stars and heats up the surrounding dust. The Rhythms of Star Formation with a group of 100 highly qualified experts to study star formation from beginning to end, our knowledge about the galaxies that can be seen face on from Earth that are on average 50 million light years away are just within reach. This large collaboration of astronomers has combined observations made at ALMA in Chile with data from MUSE instrument also in Chile. They obtained spectra from 19 galaxies later in their star formation process, particularly after star clusters had cleared nearby gas and dust out of the way. Space-based observations from the Hubble Space Telescope provided high-resolution images of individual stars and star clusters in 38 galaxies. Webb will fill in the missing elements for the regions of the galaxy obscured by dust. Regions where the stars are actively beginning to form, 
providing a clearer view of star clusters in dense molecular clouds where stars are actively forming. Star clusters in the hearts of these dense molecular clouds that before we only had indirect evidence of will be clearly seen as Webb will give us a way to look inside these star factories to see the freshly assembled star clusters and measure their properties before they evolve. The new data will also help the team pinpoint the ages of stellar populations in a diverse sample of galaxies, which will help researchers build more accurate statistical models. Another important answer they are seeking involves the dust surrounding the stars within the interstellar medium. Webb will help them determine which areas of the gas and dust are associated with specific star-forming regions and which are free-floating interstellar material. The team is also working to understand the timing of the star formation cycle. We also want to measure when these stars free themselves from their gas clouds to understand how star formation is disrupted. By the time Webb carries out its purpose, we will then have the answers to our long-standing curiosities. How long does each stage of star formation last? How might those timelines vary in different galaxy environments? The Webb observations will be a part of a treasury program, which means they will be publicly available immediately and are expected to have a broad and enduring scientific value. The team will work to create several data sets that align the web data to each of the complementary data sets from ALMA, MUSE, and Hubble. Each galaxy's stellar population will be easily accessible by toggling on and off various wavelengths. Researchers will be able to zoom into individual pixels of the images. The inventories will include different phases of the star formation cycle, including regions of star formation, young stars, star clusters, local dust properties. This research will be conducted as part of Webb's General Observer, or GO, programs, which are competitively selected using Dual Anonymous Review System, the same system that is used to allocate time on the Hubble Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is the world's premier space science observatory, serving thousands of astronomers worldwide. It will study every phase in the history of our universe, ranging from the first luminous glows after the Big Bang to the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets, and to the evolution of our own solar system. It is both exciting and mysterious at the same time, but one thing is definitely for sure. We are a step closer to understanding the cosmos and possibly the entities with us in this vast space.